Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're answering a viewer's question regarding the result has multiple solids. This is not currently supported. This is an error that happens in the part design. And clearing up the query regarding this paragraph, that's in the FreeCAD documentation. I'm going to be explaining what a multiple solid is in the part design, showing how it's actually supported in the part, and also going to base features where we're using a multiple solid base feature and using that in the part design. So I hope you enjoyed the channel and let's have a look at this query regarding FreeCAD. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header, on the about page, or in the descriptions of these videos. So when you come into part design as a beginner, that multiple error can be a bit confusing. And when looking at the documentation, we have this paragraph here. When selecting a single sketch, it can have multiple enclosed profiles inside a larger one. For example, a rectangle with two circles inside it but the profiles may not intersect each other. So what does that actually mean? What does that look like in FreeCAD? I'm in FreeCAD at the moment, I'm in the part design. I'm gonna create a new body and a new sketch and the XY plane and okay. I'm gonna create a single profile. So this is closed geometry. The geometry connects up together. So each of these lines is a separate piece of geometry. If I delete that, that's an open wire or an open profile, and it's not closed. So that's add a line in here. So I've closed the geometry. It's a closed profile. That can be extruded, or as it's known in the part design, as padded. Let's hit okay. So that's a solid. Let's go back to this pad, this one here, and double click the sketch. So now if I had a circle inside here, these are actually two profiles. So I've got the profile of the hole that's gonna appear in here and the outside rectangle. And let's close that. So now we've created a rectangle with a hole in it. Let's again go back to the sketch, double click it. And let's go with that example. Let's delete that and add two circles with inside the rectangle. So these are within the rectangle. And we've got three profiles in here. We've got the profile of the base and the profiles of the holes. Let's close that. And that creates a solid object in there it's one single solid. Let's double click on that sketch. If I take one of these profiles and intercept the other like so, and close, then we start getting issues. You can see that our geometry has actually broken underneath. And though we've got this face that's hovering above this, we've got a problem. And you can see that if I come over to the part workbench and click on the pad, come up to part, come down to the check geometry. And what we'll do is we'll run a check on that. And you can see the face has intersecting wires and it's invalid. Let's close that. Always make sure we close it. And that's come back to that sketch by double clicking on it. So we move it away and close we're absolutely fine. We've got a single body, a single solid in there. If I double click that sketch and now move this circle outside, what will happen is we get the rectangle with the circular hole in the middle, but this is separated. So we've got this profile here that's been separated out from the others. And there's nothing in here that connects it with the main profile. So if you think when this is extruded and this is extruded, they're two separate objects. They're two separate solid. Therefore, 
when we close, we get the results. I hover over that results has multiple solids. This is not currently supported. It is supported in the part workbench, not the part design. So let's delete that pad. Now I'm going to shrink up the origin and click on the sketch. And what we'll do is come over to the part design because we're in the part at the moment. Let's come over to the part. Because I was inside a body, this is a part design workflow. Maybe confusing because I was in the part before, this one here, and I was editing the sketch. I was still inside that body, so no matter where I was in FreeCAD, where I was in the draft, the part, the sketcher, if I double click on that body, if I double click on that sketch, I drop into the sketcher, but I'm inside the body, so it's a part design workflow. So this one here, now I'm in the part design, if I pad that and hit OK, we get the result has multiple solids. This is not currently supported. So what we're trying to do is create a multi-body object out of one body. If I wanted to do this, I would have to remove this sketch from in here and close that and then create another body and create a sketch inside along the XY plane and hit OK. Then I can create my circle, say somewhere here, and close that. And then I can pad that one and OK. And because I haven't padded the other body, that's double click to make that active and pad that one and OK. So we now have two separate bodies. They're two separate solids, and we can do what we like with these. On the other hand, in the part workbench, so let's delete this pad and delete this pad. And I'm going to drag that sketch outside on top of the project, the same as this one, and delete that body and delete the other one. So we've just got these two sketches now. We're going to merge these sketches together so we get back to how it was before. And I know I could double click on this sketch and just draw this circle in there. But this is another way of doing this because if we had complex geometry in here, we want to know how to do this. We can click both those sketches and come up to sketch and merge sketches also available on the toolbar here. If I click on that. What happens is that we get a new sketch with these two combined. We just take those two sketches and hit delete. So if I'm in the part now, I can use that sketch and create an extrude and OK that. So I've created a extrude here. A multi solid object, there's two solids in here. This extrude is known as a compound. So if I come up to part and check geometry and run the check, I'm not interested in what's in here, but what I'm interested in is this shape content. If I look at that, it's a compound. And if we look down, it holds two solids. Let's close that. If I wanted to quickly separate these out, there's compound tools in the part workbench. So part, compound, and explode compound. And what we'll get is the extrude and the other extrude within here. These are linked to the originals. So if I double click on the sketch and change this, and making sure they don't intersect and hit close, then that will change the exploded extrudes as well, the exploded compound. Now, one thing to remember is that these can be used as a base feature in the part design. And though it's a compound, and though it's a multi-body solid, if I come back to the part design and we'll create a body, place it along the XY plane, OK. What I can do is drag, let's get rid of this exploded extrude, delete that, yes. 
So we've got the original extrude here. I can drag this inside the body, like so. At the moment, this is a multi-solid object, but I can't do anything with this until I bridge the two. So if I place a bridge in here, then I can carry on with my modeling. For instance, let's take this surface here in the part design, create a sketch upon it. If I just created this square here and hit close, and for instance, that's pad that, then hit OK, get the multi solids input error there. That's OK that and cancel. Let's change the sketch a little. So this time we're going to bridge that gap between those two solids there and hit close. Now when we pad, we get a successful pad in there because we joined the two solids together. If that was a pocket, taking that sketch and using the pocket, then we get the same problem because we haven't joined those two solids together. The pocket actually removes material and we get the multiple solids input error there. So I hope that's answered the question regarding the multiple solids in the part design. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.